Signature Flight Support is the world's largest FBO operator, and the company recently received new leadership when Mark Johnstone took over as head of parent company BBA Aviation. With a decade of experience at the company, he served as Signature's chief financial officer from 2009 until 2012, but the aviation services provider has seen significant change since that time. The business has come a huge way, not only in its service standards, the investment into the business, but also the scale. We, of course, completed the landmark acquisition nearly two years ago, so we now have 139 locations in North America, 200 globally. It's a substantially different business. Earlier this year, BBA made another major purchase when it acquired industry fuel provider Epic Aviation. Epic brings to the, uh, the Signature family in excess of 205 branded locations, which we will uh, you know, integrate over the coming year and decide how we brand it going forwards. It is, however, important to remember that they are independent locations, they're not locations we own. So it is a, a, an affiliate model. It allows our customers to access what I'd say is a bigger signature family. For now at least, the two companies will continue to operate independently, but there will be some synergies, according to Johnstone. Through Epic, it gives us more data, it gives us co-ownership and now of our joint credit card, and it also brings more skills on the fueling side, or the fueling expertise, taking our annual purchasing from nearly 300 million gallons a year to almost 500 million gallons. That gives us both uh, economies of scale in both purchasing power, but also in back office economies. As Johnstone takes the helm at BBA, he views an industry at a crossroads. I mean, the good thing in the industry is we're seeing growth. The, the, the downside, perhaps, is we're not seeing as much growth as we'd like. I mean, the, the U.S. is the center of it. Most of the business jets are in the U.S. With you know, growth in the economy, with tax reforms and other areas, we'd hope to see a little bit more growth. I'm sure it will come. But there's clearly a bit of uncertainty around international trade opportunities, uh, you know, geopolitical debates that are going on at this point in time. For AIN TV, I'm Kurt Epstein. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Also, visit AINonline.com and check out our e-newsletters for all the latest on the aviation industry.